In this video I'm going to talk about the object class and uh, why this class is uh, very important in .NET. Okay, for this uh, example I have this class, it's a com class, uh, that you can create. Uh, this is the person class with an ID, a name, and phone numbers. In this case, this, um, this property or this member is a string builder because a person can have many phone numbers. Okay, uh, something that uh, you don't see when you declare a class is that every class in .NET derives from the object class. Okay, there is something invisible in every class. And in this case, it is the object class. Okay, as you can see, there is no any error if I do this. Okay, and the reason is because it happens internally. And if uh, we go to the um, to this class, if we go to the definition of the class, uh, we can see and we can uh, yeah we can see all the information all the uh, members of the class okay as you can see here it has different methods it's like a structure it has different methods here uh, one of those are public uh, protected uh, and static okay and for that reason when you use a class, when you declare a class, immediately you have access to all those methods and of course the, uh, the properties that you declare uh, in the class. Okay, in this case uh, we have the ID, we have the name, we have the phone numbers, okay and uh, we have at the same time all those methods that we were checking. In this case we have equals get hash code, get type and uh, to stream for example. okay if we uh, if we go to the class again, go to definition, we can see all those methods. In this class equals get hash code, get type, get members, member wise clone. Now uh, let's check uh, these methods. Okay, uh, this is the first one, and this is the constructor for the for the class. It's going to be executed when the object uh, is created. Okay, the second method is equals. In this case, this is a public virtual method that returns a full. And for that reason, it can be overriding by the class that is derived. Okay, it's possible to uh, define a different behavior than the default behavior. Okay. And the default behavior for this method is to compare the uh, addressing memory from this object to this object. Okay, it's going to compare um, the object received in this equals this equals method with the object by itself. Okay. Uh, but of course it needs an, an instance of the object and it's different from this method because in this case this is static and it's not necessary to have an instance of a, of a class to uh, compare two objects because that's what uh, this method does comparing the addresses in memory 
in these objects and for that reason we can do something like this in this case I don't need an instance I only have to uh, use the number the name object and using the dot and we can use uh, reference equals in this case but uh, okay no, it's, it's not reference equals it, this is equals is this here very simple now let's uh, check to remember this is this uh, structure this method is executed when uh, the object is destroyed this is the opposite behavior from the object from or uh, from the constructor uh, next one is get hash code this get hash code uh, is a method that takes all the information in the object and it creates a specific code that it's a representation of those um, of the information in all the properties of the object in all the members for example it takes uh, ID name and phone numbers and it creates a, a unique a unique code okay uh, get type uh, this method um, has a relation with something called uh, reflection and uh, it's possible to modify the information of the object uh, in a different way that the um, that traditional when you use something like this person and you select the properties the reflection is uh, a different topic and well I'm not going to dip on it but uh, that's what uh, you can do with this with this uh, method another one is member wise colon okay um, with this method it's possible to create a copy of an object but in this case it is not going to create a 100% copy of the object it, it's going to copy an object but um, in part not completely for example let's check here okay uh, this would be the um, the diagram of the classes I have the object class at the top with all its members and the person class okay with ID name and phone numbers and this method member wise clone would do something like this copy and paste I'm going to paste and I'm creating a copy of this object but in this case when we use this uh, this method this member because this is an object is not going to be copied on a different in a different uh, address memory okay it is going to be pointing to this address memory so in this case we are not going to have a 100% copy from this object okay so we're going to have something like a partial copy and um, we need something additional to have a, uh, something called a deep copy a deep copy is a 100% copy in a different and uh, different parts or different places in memory okay well we, we can see the description that's a shallow copy okay this would be a shallow copy not a deep copy and okay 
reference equals well this method is going to compare um, addresses and this these two objects okay very simple is static and we can call it without um, to have an instance of the object and finally we have uh, to string the to string method is used to um, a string representation of uh, the object you can take all the uh, all the properties of the method and you can create a string that is going to be returned and is going to be used for example in a write um, method uh, to show all the values in the in the object 